Mackenzie Shirilla had been dating Dominic Russo for about three or four years. They were young and in love, but their relationship was far from perfect. Some would say they had a tumultuous relationship. Mackenzie frequently got aggressive towards Dominic, and it grew more intense as the years went on. She would call him names, make violent threats against him. Things kept building up, little arguments here and there, but ultimately it came to a head in 2022. On July 17, 2022, Mackenzie and Dominic were driving down Interstate 71 when they got into a heated disagreement. It escalated quickly and led to Mackenzie threatening Dominic that she would crash the car they were driving in. Dominic was concerned and called his mother to come and pick him up. His mother couldn't come, so he also called a close friend and asked if he could come rescue him from the fight with Mackenzie. On the phone, the friend overheard Mackenzie say, I will crash this car right now. His friend rushed to pick him up and found them on the side of the road. The passenger's side door was open, and they could see inside the car that Mackenzie was repeatedly hitting Dominic over and over again with their hands. Dominic saw his friend pull up and quickly made a break for it. He hopped out of Mackenzie's car and climbed into his friend's vehicle, and they drove away. Later in the month, Mackenzie and Dominic got into another heated argument. Mackenzie showed up at Dominic's home in a rage and was trying forcefully to get inside, but Dominic wouldn't let her in. Dominic filmed a portion of the fight on his phone that showed Mackenzie destroying his property, making threats, and repeatedly degrading him. At one point, she threatened to key his car and break the house door handle off if he didn't let her in. Dominic tried to calm her down to no avail. He then stopped filming and called his mother for help. They eventually calmed Mackenzie down and made peace with her. Days later, on July 31, 2022, Mackenzie, Dominic, and Davian Flanagan were all hanging out at a friend's house smoking. Around 5.30 a.m., they decided to call it a night and the trio left the friend's home in Mackenzie's 2018 Toyota Camry. Mackenzie was driving. Dominic was in the passenger seat and Davian Flanagan was in the back seat. What happened during this car ride remains uncertain, but it's assumed that another monstrous argument occurred which led to Mackenzie driving 100 miles per hour and crashing the vehicle into a brick wall, killing Dominic and Davian. The crash took place about 20 miles southwest of downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Mackenzie had to be extracted from the car before being rushed to the hospital to be treated for her injuries. She had a few surgeries to repair her femur. They put plates and pins to heal her humerus. And she had surgery to place two stints in her neck. Nobody suspected that Mackenzie crashed the car on purpose. The police assumed it was an accident. They weren't sure if being under the influence was the reason for the crash or if it was from the magic worms they found in the car at the crime scene after the fact. The last thing they thought was that Mackenzie purposely crashed the car. Mackenzie herself claimed to not remember the crash at all. In a text she sent Dominic's mother saying, I remember turning onto the street and then my vision fades to black. It really kills me not being able to remember anything. I've been asking my therapist why I don't remember and she said it's because of trauma. But I'm gonna try to go get hypnotized and make myself remember. Following her physical recovery, Mackenzie went back out in the world and started partying, smoking, doing other things and posting it all over social media for everyone to see. It appeared as though she had no grief after the death of her boyfriend and friend. She had clearly moved on. It all came to a screeching halt in November, 2022, when Mackenzie was arrested on charges of murder, vehicular homicide and felonious assault. The trial began on August 10, 2023. Mackenzie did not testify at the trial, but she did cry at the sentencing hearing. Her defense team and Mackenzie's parents argued that she had lost control of her vehicle due to a medical condition. Mackenzie's mother, Natalie claimed that her daughter suffers from a condition called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome also known as POTS. It's a serious condition where an excessively reduced volume of blood returns to the heart after an individual moves into the standing position from a lying down position. I'm not sure how that condition really pertains to this car crash because she was sitting down driving the vehicle and I'm fairly sure she didn't try to stand up while she was driving. Also, if you have POTS, you have it noted on your driver's license, which Mackenzie did not. After her car crash, she actually renewed her driver's license. And again, she did not disclose to the DMV that she had such a condition. In addition to that, there is no medical record that confirms Mackenzie has this medical problem. 
The prosecutors argued that the relationship was toxic and Mackenzie was the aggressor. They said she would frequently make violent threats against her boyfriend, Dominic. At the trial, they showed security footage from a local business of Mackenzie's car going full speed and showed no signs of slowing down or attempting to brake. In addition to that, they brought in a certified forensic mechanic who testified that Mackenzie's car event data showed just moments before the crash her acceleration pedal was pressed to full capacity. And there was no recording of her attempting to use the brake. Dominic's sister took to the stand in court and spoke about the nature of Dominic and Mackenzie's relationship by saying, I witnessed a lot of negative behavior from her to my brother. The trial lasted four days but they ultimately reached a fair verdict where the judge made the comment that Mackenzie Shirilla was literal, hell on wheels. Mackenzie was found guilty for a total of 12 counts including four counts of murder. Four counts of felonious assault, two of aggravated vehicular homicide, and one of possession of criminal tools. She received a maximum sentence of life in prison. After the verdict, the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office said we put plenty of all sorts of evidence in front of the judge. There is no doubt that this happened because of the relationship with Dominic, and the defendant's intent was clearly to end that. She took everybody that was in the car with her.